Hey guys, hope you are doing fine. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be looking at another lead code problem named as palindrome number. An integer is a palindrome when it reads the same way backward and forward. For example, 121 is a palindrome whereas minus 121 and 10 are not palindrome numbers because when we reverse those numbers, the reverse of the number is not equal to the original number. That's why these numbers... Before starting with the solution, we must be familiar with two important operators, namely division and modulus. When we apply the division operator between two numbers a and b, we get quotient, whereas when we apply modulus operator between two numbers a and b, we get the remainder. For example, when 10 is divided by 3, we get 3 as the quotient. Whereas when 10 is modular divided by 3, we get 1 as a remainder. Now we can start with the solution. Consider the input x is 1729 and output num is 0. The output is initially initialized to 0. So the algorithm is as follows. When x is greater than 0, multiply num with 10, then add x mod 10 to num and finally divide x by 10. So this cycle goes on while x is greater than 0. Initially value of x is 1729. Since x is greater than 0, multiply num with 10 then add x mod 10 to num which gives 9 and finally divide x by 10 which gives 172. So the new values of num is 10 and the new value of x is 172. So now x is 172 and num is 9. Since x is still greater than 0, we can perform the similar operations which we performed in the last iteration that is multiply num by 10 add x mod 10 to num which gives 92 and finally divide x by 10. So our new values of num and x are 92 and 17. Since x is still greater than 0, we can move further and perform the similar operations by which we get new values of num as 927 and value of x is 1. So 1 is still greater than 0. Therefore, we can perform similar operations which gives final values of num as 9271 and the value of x is 0. So here we can see that 9271 is reverse of 1729 which was the original value of x. So now we can begin with the actual code. Initially, we need to check whether x is 0 or out of range. If so, we can return false. Here, the value 21474836470 is the upper bound for 32 bit sign integer. Now we can initialize the value of num to 0, which will be holding the reverse of x. And we can store the original value of x into another variable called y. Now we can code an actual algorithm which is while x is greater than 0 multiply num by 10 add x mod 10 to num and finally divide x by 10. Now we can check whether we can check that if the value of num is equal to the original value of x that is y. If so, we can return true else false. So here we have a working code but we need to 
take care of a condition where the value of num exceeds the 32 bit sign integer range. For that case, we need to insert an if condition after this statement, which checks that if the value of num exceeds the range, then we need to return false. And that's it, a code is completed. We can now run the code. It is showing accepted. So now we can submit it. And it got submitted. So if you found this video helpful, do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos. Thank you.